Well, I know for many of you shopping right now sounds like torture. We did enough of that in December. But if you're smart about what you shop for and what you leave on the shelf, January can actually be a great month to buy. The National Retail Federation expected the average American to spend just under $1,000 each on the holidays. Many of us blew that budget altogether. So why spending now could be a great way to get back on track. And DealNews.com put together a list of do's and don'ts. A great thing to buy right now, fitness equipment. Companies know about our resolutions to get healthy, so they're making it worth our while. Nordic Track, for example, had deals up to 50% online. And let's be honest, by February, we'll be over that workout resolution already. Next, and you already know this, Christmas decorations. But you have to act now. I was at Target yesterday, and nearly all of the Christmas items were cleared out. The Valentine's items were fully stocked. And January is a great time to buy linen. Stores have held so-called white sales all the way back to 1878. Stores like Target and JCPenney will go down to 50% or more this month. Finally, what not to buy. First, electronics and computers. They will see their deepest discounts in February. Wait until President's Day next month to buy mattresses and furniture. And the popular Amazon Echo flew off the shelves this holiday season. But demand is still so high, Deal News says there's no incentive to drop prices now. Deal News has also compiled a list of where to shop this month, specific stores. I've included that link in this story on KXOY.com and on my Facebook page, search Melissa Luck, KXOY4.